everyone, welcome to the Stock Talk for September 5th, so some major developments today. Uh, and you can see from the title that it's never an easy ride to the top. In the past, you know, if you've been following my past Stock Talks, I've continuously said that, you know, the S&P 500 remains on an uptrend, sentiment is extremely low, and we always have to take a look at the flip side of things. And furthermore, remember, TVIX was always on a downtrend, and it never flipped the trend and it certainly has not flipped today so going back to the S&P 500 this is the spy daily time frame I've also mentioned that this is essentially what I call the wall of worry it's because we had a dramatic move lower but we held the 150 period moving average and on an uptrend we expect that the moving averages hold so far it is so it is still holding so let's talk about the developments today upwards to what might happen in the next few days the theme here is it's not an easy ride to the top. So we had a big move today. We came up to the resistance. Now remember in the last stock talk, I talked about how the yellow line or the higher low line situated around SPY 297.50 to SPY 298 would act as resistance if we got up there. Well, we're up here, so we're at resistance. Well, where so where can we go from here? There's really two scenarios that I can take a look at. We know that the market's bullish. By now, the market has proved itself multiple times over, and hopefully that already convinced you. If it d didn't convince you, and you still think we're going to go down, uh, okay then. But uh, there's two scenarios. The first scenario is a down move. Now, the down move can actually take us back down towards the moving averages. So this would essentially take us back down to around 293, and possibly even a little bit lower. Um, in an extreme case, it would take us back to the 150 period moving average. But again, this is a bull market. And in a bullish scenario, we expect markets to eventually push higher. So similar to my analysis in the past, how we were holding the 150 period moving average, which was viewed as a positive sign, and that if the markets were to dive towards the 200, that would be another area of support. In a bull market, we expect support levels to hold. Same thing here, really nothing has changed in such that if we get a move lower, and by no means do we have to, but if we do, our expectation continues to be first this level of 292.87, and next this 150 period moving average will hold as support. Otherwise, the market can continue trending higher. Believe it or not, uh, given time, markets, will likely continue higher towards all-time highs. I also pointed out this out to the members group today, right? And in such that if you were bearish down here, chances are you're not going to enter up here, okay? And moreover, you're not going to enter up here either when there's when we're at all-time highs. It's only when remember the scenario when I talked about when we're significantly above the all-time highs when the bears jump on board, the bulls jump on board market corrects again so right now obviously we're still moving higher expectation continues to be first this level 293 to hold second level 150 period moving average um now yeah so be sure to just check out my past videos if you're not sure what i'm talking about i've kind of gone over this over and over again but you know there you go market can prove itself to everyone Again, it's it's the market that tells me the story, right? I follow the market. I'm not going to make up possible scenarios if if you know I kind of pointed out the bearish side of things in the last video just in case, but we didn't see any evidence of that developing. And similar here with TVIX, TVIX uh, tracking volatility on the daily time frame. Um, so I'm actually going to remove this. Uh, I was actually showing this to the members earlier, but this is. I mean, what can I say about this, right? Still lower highs, and we can even go to the basis that we need to exceed the high of 2411 now because we're now so far a little bit further away extended uh, from the August 15 high that, you know what? I will do this. So if the bears exceed the high of 2411, that would capture my attention. 
Uh, but so far, this is on a downtrend, and until and unless we can exceed that high, this will continue on a downtrend until said otherwise. Uh, again, for the S&P 500, I'm not saying that we can't come down. We surely can. I gave uh, bears the room to pull us all the way back to the 150 period moving average if necessary. But by no means, repeat, by no means do we have to do that in a bull market. All right. Uh, if we surpass this resistance level and close above it, especially on a daily or weekly time frame, we're looking straight towards all time highs. You know, I want to reiterate uh, because, you know, when we were down here, I kept talking, you know, guys, we're only five to six percent from all time highs and we have extreme pessimism in the markets. Now we are at, you know, less than one and a half percent from all time highs. Uh, and I'm, I believe we're still going to have a lot of pessimism as we continue on forward. The fuel to the fire. All right. So overall, markets look sound uh, as of today. And moving on to crude oil. So crude oil, as you can see, uh, here is your lower high line that we broke above. Today, you can see initially on upon the inventory report, um, the crew did try to push higher and crossed over this resi resistance line. It's a good step, right? We talked about how crude, I'd like to see more continuation. You know, if yesterday was day one, today's day two, I'd like to see more follow through. And if that follow through can continue to commence for crude oil, we're looking for higher prices in crude. But again, one step at a time. Uh, this is what I would call a breakout, but we need to see more candles just for confirmation. Above the higher low line will be bullish. Below it will be bearish. That's my line in the sand. It will continue to, to be so. Um, natural gas. So here is natural gas. Uh, interesting sort of candle. Um, as you can see, this is certainly on an uptrend. The trend has flipped uh, from bearish to bullish. And by now, you know it's without a doubt that this has flipped. But um, what we want to see essentially right now is here's your near term resistance. We don't really have to hit the resistance right now. Certainly we can, as you can see, we're kind of extended from the 20 and the 50 period moving average. This is a light blue in the blue line. And we can certainly make a move lower temporarily and then continue on in the uptrend. Now, if natural gas continues higher, that wouldn't surprise me either. It's a similar analogy to broad markets, right? How it doesn't have to come down once the trend kind of flips. It doesn't have to come down. But if it does, I'd be viewing as a potential higher low opportunity rather than a reversal of the immediate pattern. So uh, natural gas looks good. See, initially it actually came down, but you can see the bulls kind of drove it back up by the end of the day. And uh, by the end of the day, natural gas didn't really fall that much. So uh, you kind of get the sentiment in natural gas as well, how things are uh, flipping in the month of September. Uh, gold futures. Now, there you go. Gold. Uh, you know, gold, as you can see, is still bullish. But you can imagine this will certainly kind of throw a wrench into the bull gold camp, right? And this is what happens when you when things are kind of speculative and you can see, you know, while the trend is still bullish, we're above the 20 period moving average for gold, right? It's still bullish, but take a look at this. Um, you know, I talked about how a long consolidation results in a powerful move higher, a shorter consolidation higher. And we had an, an even shorter consolidation. Remember, the shorter the consolidation uh, it can move higher on a bullish trend, but you always have to kind of be careful of that blow off top, right? I kind of talked about that in the last video. Uh, and here you go. Now the question goes, has the trend flipped, especially with this sort of candle on the daily time frame, uh, basically evaporating the past week? We can't say the trend has flipped right now. But on the short term, it looks like gold needs to consolidate certainly longer below this trend line and around this trend line before it can push higher. So, uh, you know, gold continues to and needs to consolidate just a tad bit more. All right. Now, I want to go back to one chart, which was the XLF or the financials chart. This is something I pointed out, I think, two videos ago, and that was last week. So here is financials. You know, I pointed this out 
this was on August 29th, right? I said, hey, we broke over this trend line on this day. Is that a positive or a negative development? That's a very positive development. And I gave the analogy of how we broke out in the past, similar to what we had. This was back in May. And look at where we are now compared to where we were last week. Bullish or bearish? Certainly bullish on the short term. And like I said, with financials rallying, it's carrying the markets higher, right? So everything looks good. All right, let's look at um, your comments from the last video. Again, everyone, thank you everyone for Welcome watching these time. videos. Oh, <laughs> watching these videos. I really appreciate you know everyone commenting on these videos, hitting the like or subscribe button. Uh, you know, I do these videos for everyone. Of course, I do videos for members as well, going in-depth analysis with every index and commodity uh, that that we look at. But, you know, it's really, you know, when I talk about this, it's really all of you that makes this channel possible, that makes these videos possible. Uh, you know, for me to put out these videos uh, every week, it's all you guys. Without without the everyone else, I wouldn't be here. So... Thank you very much. All right, so uh, let's look at the comments. J.A., you said a natural gas should have a pullback. It's not winter yet, but I believe the recent activity is due to the hurricane. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Uh, the weather events, as we know, certainly can affect natural gas's outlook, um, but uh, it can have a pullback. I agree. It can have a short pullback uh, with even, even though the trend has uh, reversed to the upside. Uh, long on SD, hard to get really bullish on broad markets until we see more momentum from big cap tech like Amazon. Uh, I have a slow moving ticker. The ticker is T. Uh, the biggest question is where is resistance for T? So I think T is AT&T. Um, but first, let's go to your first comment. Uh, the, que the, the comment was it's hard to get really bullish on broad markets until we see big momentum from big cap like Amazon. Well, we certainly saw big momentum from big cap like Amazon today. So let's take a look at the Amazon chart. I talked about this for Amazon. Um, you know, below the 20 period moving average is bearish for Amazon. Above is bullish. This is bullish. This is a breakout. Now, as you can see, there's a gap down here. It doesn't again, go back to the title of my slide. It doesn't have to be a smooth ride up. It's never a smooth ride up to the upside. But um, there you go. Now, long on SD. Oh, yeah, T, AT&T. Okay. So this is AT&T. Your question is, where is the resistance? Okay, so on the daily time frame, and this is a two-year chart, you can see that the resistance is pretty much around here, right? Your upper range is around 38 upwards to around $40. Uh, and several times in the past, we could not exceed this high. And uh, this failed to break out. So just be cautious a little bit up here. There's also ooh, there's also a minor resistance up here around 37.61. right? And this corresponds to the high of these candles here. Uh, this is on an uptrend. So uh, especially as markets push higher. Uh, the tickers like T or at and can just kind of follow the markets. So it is a little bit slow moving. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, always you're f feel free to hit the thumbs down button. And once again, I will talk to everyone soon when I see some other developments. Uh, if you take a look at the Facebook group or the course, on the Facebook group, I kind of post some charts nowadays. Uh, and I think I'll start doing that on, on uh, some of the thoughts that I might cover on these videos. And of course, check out the course. I'm on Discord and uh, we're always talking about the markets. So, all right, have a great day. Talk to everyone soon.